Well, one of six from the field, and those struggles have carried over to the free throw line. But, Dan, you've got to love it. Seven assists, only two turnovers. He's still done a nice job of orchestrating things offensively for the Broncos. Harris checks back in for Gonzaga. Dower went out. Rockmore has done a good job. There's been a few possessions where he's had it in his mind that he's going to shoot. You take that last possession, he had a wide open three, he passed it up to penetrate down the lane. Mangos with the opening, Olenek with the finish. Kelly is scoring in every possible way tonight. Isos on the block, follow buckets. Heck of a game. Kelly Olenek with 31 points, 12 of 15 from the floor. Rockamore deep three, that's short. Otonga with the rebound, tried to save it. It was grabbed by Pangos, but I believe he slid onto the sideline. So it'll be Santa Clara basketball with a minute 31 to play. And timeout called by Bart Few. Guys, we've seen this the last several games for Gonzaga. It seems like they play well. Whoever they play is also playing well, and it's a tight game the entire way, but Gonzaga just does not have those little drop-offs. Yeah, there's, they not, a, there's they not a lot struggle. of peaks and valleys They're for not. them. That's a great call, Greg. Pretty consistent throughout the 40 minutes with their effort and execution offensively. When you've got a guy like Kelly Olynyk, uh, he is unique, and it makes a big difference. Time now for tonight's play of the game brought to you by Supercuts. Get in, get confident, visit one of 15 local Supercut salons today. Supercuts, Gonzaga's number one hair salon. We'll go with Kelly Olenek here on the offensive rebound. 12 of 15 from the floor. And this is the guy really why they haven't had the peaks and valleys. They get the easy bucket out of him. He's playing at a different level. It's not the same game for Kelly right now. Not only is he that talented, but you mentioned it, Dan, earlier. His confidence level is off the charts. Gonzaga just given a delay of the game warning there. Foster from three, that's way off. Olenek with the rebound. And now the dribble. So a quick one by Foster, nowhere close. He's now 10 of 23. And Gonzaga will take some time off the clock now. Well, you want to take a little bit of time off the clock, but you also don't want to put yourself up against you know, four or five seconds on the clock before you get in your stuff. Olenek playing like a guard over there. Hangos, Olenek, free throws. You just don't see that. Hey, we need a shot. We, we want to milk the clock. We want to get a good shot. Kelly, go half court and bring it up. I mean, <laughs> that is just unheard of. Well, it's a seven-footer's dream to be able to do that. And, and he's grown with his skill level and his, and his physical ability to do that. And the coaches obviously are gaining confidence with him week by week to let him do that. Yannick Atanga following out for Santa Clara. Two points, nine rebounds, five personal fouls. But he gave him great minutes tonight. Lots of energy off the bench. And Olenek at the free throw line. Already with 31 points, he's six of seven from the line. Now seven of eight. And time now to announce tonight's player of the game presented by Ada Z. Rental. No job too big or too small with seven convenient locations. We rent everything. But A to Z rent will be your most viable player. And, of course, it's Olenek with 32 points. Make it 33 points and 10 rebounds. So a double-double, 12 of 15 from the floor and 7 of 8 from the free throw line. And inside, Cowell. Timeout, Santa Clara. So they keep it at 6, a two-possession game with 44.9 seconds to play. This game is going to get very extended now. Well, if you're Santa Clara, you're looking for every opportunity to get the ball back in your hands, so you're going to have to start fouling, putting Gonzaga on the line. Well, you'd like to get a quick shot. You did a nice layup at the rim. Uh, you want to maybe trap that first pass in that full court pressure, but after that pass out of that trap is made, you want to foul quickly, extend the game. You're absolutely right, Greg. Guys, the beginning of the season, there was no talk of Kelly Olenek even on the first team all West Coast Conference team preseason. Is he the player of the year to this point in the West Coast Conference? This is a huge uh, statement tonight. He's been GU's best player since he came back from sitting out the first 
three games, and you see right here, you can just do it in a variety of different ways. You don't see Biggs that can handle the ball the way he does. He's comfortable with his, in his hands, and he's done such a good job of getting position early. That way, he doesn't have to put the ball on the floor on his touches. There's Pangos with it. Foul called on Frasolini, so Gonzaga's best free throw shooter going to the line with 42.1 seconds to play and a six-point lead. Olenek with 33 points, 12 of 15 shooting, 8 of 9 from the line, 10 rebounds. I mean, you have to go back to probably Turia. Well, since I'm, we've had a post player yeah. at Gonzaga with those sorts of lines, well, with that sort of line. Coming into tonight, inside the arc, he's shooting 70% from the field. That's I mean, just... Those numbers are unheard of. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could talk about Roney's second-round pick who's carved out a very lengthy NBA career, but... Roney was never able to put the ball on the floor from the perimeter like Kelly can do. Maybe Batista then. Batista used to shoot at a high level. Well, he could shoot it from the outside, but it was more of a pick and pop where Kelly will actually put you in an ISO game, jab step, create his own shot rather than have somebody create a shot for him. They've had Gius had guys who could score around the rim, but not, not nobody at this clip. There's Rockamore with his slam. And if you're GU, that's not what you want to give up is a quick bucket like that. Back to six, and Mike Hart now goes to the free throw line. That's a good foul. Mike on the year, 8 of 11, but doesn't shoot a lot of free throws, let alone shots late in a tight ball game. And that's the right guy to send in the free throw line if you're Santa Clara. Well, the mistake made by there, right there by Gonzaga, not only you give up an easy bucket, but you've got your best free throw shooter inbounds the, inbounding the ball, Kevin Pangos. Let that thing go, get yourself set up, have somebody screen to get you open, so you're now the guy who gets fouled and goes to the free throw line. Mike Hart long on that shot. So lead remains six, two possessions. And obviously this is a big free throw here by Mike Hart to push it to three possessions. And Mike Hart hits the second end. Seven point game, 35 seconds to play. Foster, hard on him, step back. Foster's shot is way off, tried to get a foul there. Rockamore with the rebound. He steps back. He'll shoot it over Pangos. That's short. Tip back, won't go, goes out of bounds. And it's Santa Clara basketball with 19.1 to play. Gonzaga nearly at their season average in scoring at 79 points. They average about 80. Here's Rockamore. They shoot free throws. Foul on Mike Hart. 17.2 to play. Guys, this has been a hellacious road swing for Gonzaga. They had to go to Oklahoma State. They beat a very good ranked Cowboy team on their home floor. Then they have to go on the road. They never went home for New Year's. They go right to Los Angeles to play Pepperdine there. And then to this game here at Santa Clara. Now they go home to play St. Mary's next. This is a really difficult stretch for Gonzaga. They're handling it well. <laughs> They're handling it extremely well. But you're right. They go back and it doesn't get any, any easier. Matthew Del Vadova, the reigning WCC player of the year in St. Mary's, are going to be well prepared to play Gonzaga on Thursday. Rockamore keeps this game within reach for Santa Clara with those free throws. Five point game. Here's Bell. And now he's fouled. And this is a clutch player for Gonzaga. Gary's already in his young career hit some big shots for GU. Well, just the other day, right. New Year's Eve, Oklahoma State knocks down the go ahead three. With like 30 uh, seconds to 35, play. 35.7 uh, seconds. And that's after struggling throughout that ball game to find his stroke from behind the arc. Shot it with no hesitation. Uh, he, you're right, Greg. Last year in the tournament, two games, 16 points a game. So he's got it in him. He's just struggled this year on the offensive end. His shooting numbers are down across the board. But frankly, Richard, this is such a good team offensively. It's hard for him, a player like him, maybe to get that rhythm because so they're so good offensively at every position. Well, he's not, he's not the primary, the second, yeah. or even the third option. I agree. But his shooting numbers are down over 12% from three. Last year led the yeah. WCC from three. He's having a tough time right now finding that stroke. And he hits the free throws. You need something quick here if you're Santa Clara. Here's Clark. He's taking too long. Cowles picks it up. 
Yeah, he'll try to create space. He's going to go at the rim. Clark put back no good. That'll going to do it. Hangles with the rebound, and Gonzaga gets the 15 and one. Santa Clara falls to 12 and four, one and one in the West Coast Conference. Gonzaga remains unbeaten at two and zero. Oh. How about this start by Gonzaga, Dan? 15 and one, ranked number 10 in the country. You begin West Coast Conference play on the road. You get two road games out of the way early. Oh, it's extremely impressive. 15 and one with the schedule that they've played, and then to start league on the road with the two wins, like you mentioned, very impressive start. Gonzaga ends the game shooting 55 percent from the floor. Santa Clara out rebounded them by two, 32-30. But in the end, Gonzaga with a seven-point win, 81-74. For Richard Fox, Dan Dickow, I'm Greg Heister. Good night from the Levy Center in Santa Clara. Number 10, Gonzaga, the 81-74 win.